The dream of most people, to wake up one day billionaire or at least everybody thinks to become rich overnight. Such thoughts and dreams are normal because this is fact that everybody wants to be rich. However this Chinese movie, offers a unique story of becoming billionaire which is full of humor and comedy. Let's start our story. In the beginning of the film, the goalkeeper of the dashing club, Duo Yu Wang was called for a meeting by a man named Mr. Jean. He was ready to pay him a lot of money to let him win the next match to the other team. By the way, Duo Yu's career was not going well. In the last few years, he had done a lot of activities. He bitten a player because of which he was suspended for many matches. He started playing in the team of girls by doing makeup. He served food on his body and God knows what else. But despite all this, he told Mr. Jean that he is not for sale. And now in the next match, he will not let the other team score a single goal. During the match, he stopped a great goal, but then conceded five goals in overconfidence. He played so badly that the other team was celebrating him by throwing in the air that thank you brother you made us one. Due to being removed from the team, Duo Yu was very sad. But his teammate and best friend Shang Zhuang convinced him to talk to the coach. But the coach insulted him and said, See, we have taken a fog in your replacement, he plays better than you. Shang Zhuang got angry and told the coach that if my friend is not taken back to the team, then I will also leave the team. Will you leave the team? Go and leave. Our team will be great. All the stupid players have left, he replied. While returning home, a man pretends to crash into his car while crossing the road. His mood was already bad. So he caught him and first hit him on the car three to four times. And then he started cleaning the windshield like a cloth from his body. Just then a girl going from there, Shang Zhu, saw them, and started a movement against him like a fan of Mother Teresa. People together got them both blinded to beat that man and let them jailed. Mr. Jean got them bailed and told Duo Yu that he is not a football coach. And the meeting that took place the other day was a test of his self-respect. He took them to his office and introduced Duo Yu to Mr. Yin and Mr. Lai. He told him that he also had a brother of his grandfather, who got separated from his family due to mutual attachment. He died about a month ago. And Duo Yu is the only heir of his entire property. But before he gets the entire property, Duo Yu has to pass a test that his grandfather had decided before his death. He has to spend 1 billion yuan, which is about 139 million dollars, in a month. Only then he will get the remaining 30 billion yuan, which is about 35,390 crores. But there were some rules in this challenge. Money cannot be used illegally. At the end of the month, he should not have any house or car left with him. He cannot give this money to anyone as a gift or in charity. He can employ up to 100 people. But he has to let them do their services, mean, the work for which he has employed them. He cannot spoil the precious things he has bought. He cannot buy anything more than the market value on purpose. And the last rule was that he cannot tell anyone about this game. But if he does not want to give this test, then he can take 10 million yuan and leave. With this, the rest of the money will remain in the trust fund. And Mr. Lai and Mr. Yun can use them as they wish. Duo Yu accepted the challenge. After which Mr. Jean asked one of his accountants to account for all his expenses. It was none other than Sha Zhu. Duo Yu immediately hired her to take revenge for sending him to jail. He took Shang Zhuang to the bank to see his money. He had never seen so much money in his life. As soon as he came out of the safe, he started spending the money he got from the bank. Duo Yu hires all the guards of the bank on a dangerous salary. After this, he went to his football team and told them that he was taking them and the best club of the Chinese main league on rent. So that when the stadium repair work is complete, he can get a match between the two teams. But all of them started laughing at him after hearing this. So to make them believe what he said, he filled JCB and dropped the money in the football ground. He also rented some cars and left for the hotel with his whole team. On the way, he sat in a separate car with Sha Zhu and started flirting with her. On which Sha Zhu said, No, I have a boyfriend. Soon they all reached a grand hotel. Although only members were allowed there, but Duo Yu gave extra money to the manager and rented the whole hotel for a month. The manager was happy and took everyone to the dining room. Because Duo Yu could spend this money on his employees. And after renting the football team, they all became his employees in a way. So all this was absolutely fair according to the rules of the condition. He announced that he is starting an investment company whose CEO will be Shang Zhuang. After hearing this, he became very emotional. But he didn't know that Duo Yu has made him the CEO because he is a fool. And Duo Yu was sure that he will sink all his money into the business and lose it. Duo Yu started spending his money with all his might. From haircuts worth crores to expensive cars, furniture and clothes, 
he never missed a chance to spend money. Shang Zhuang told him that if he continues to spend money like this, he will run out of money in six months, which is unfortunately more than five months according to his plan. Meanwhile, Shang Zhuang's boyfriend Jianan Lu came there. He was going to give a lecture in a while on how a person should not run after money. After hearing this, Duo Yu took out a lot of money from his safe and told Jianan to take this money, leave this mess and come to me I hire you as a gardener. After seeing so much money, he was ready to become a gardener, and happily had a few pegs. Shang Zhuang was shocked to see this, and she broke up with him and left. In the first meeting of his investment company, Duo Yu told him to invest a lot of money in the sectors that are going into loss. At that time, a strange man entered there who wanted funding for his invention. He had made a device with which people can float on the ground. Thinking that the money will drown here, Duo Yu gave him a lot of funding. And after that, he started a shark tank in which he gave funding to every person's idea present there. The next day when he was taking a massage, his masseuse Shasha Sha tried to ding-dong with him. He was trying to stop her but she was not agreeing. That's when Shang Zhu made an entry and Duo Yu got a chance to get out of there. The next day, Duo Yu met Shasha Sha in a golf course with Mr. Yin and Lai. He understood that both of them must have sent him, so that he can somehow defeat Duo Yu the challenge. During lunch, where everyone else was served delicious food, Duo Yu gave instant noodles to Yin and Lai. Because according to the rules of the condition, he can only spend on his employees. Duo Yu gave a lot of money and called an American business strategist, Mr. Lafitte to China. After lunch, he asked him to suggest a business in which all the money will be lost. The business coach felt bad about this and said that he only trains people for success, not for failure. Without eating food, he left in anger. Duo Yu does not miss a single opportunity to spend money. He keeps a separate servant for every part of his body. In the meeting, he found out that the companies on which he had invested money, the price of their shares is touching the sky. And his investment firm is printing a lot of money. Hearing this, he was in a bad mood. We saw that Shazo was celebrating her birthday alone in her house. That's when Jianalu came there and gave her a bouquet of flowers. Shazo thought that he had come there for her birthday. But he had come to get a recommendation from her for the funding of his idea. Shazu threw that cake at his face. She went to Duo Yu, who had arranged a fire show to spend money. The sky was filled with colors. Shazo was very happy to see her and told Duo Yu that today is her birthday. He also said at same time, I know that, that's why we are celebrating that happiness. The next day, Shazu saw that Duo Yu had put up his posters all over the city, in which it was written that she should give Duo Yu at least one chance to win her heart. He put these things on TV, radio, and even hot air balloons. People started taking pictures with Shazu thinking that she was a celebrity. She called Duo Yu and told him to remove all this. But he refused to do this. When she was going to the hotel by cab, she saw that the same man for whom she had given Duo Yu to the police, he is pretending to crash in front of her cab today. She realized that Duo Yu was not lying that day. After meeting him, Shazu said that she also wants to understand him better. Duo Yu kept a private concert for her in the hotel, in which his favorite singer will perform. They enjoyed a lot together. He took her out for dinner at night, where they played football and went for a romantic walk by the river. The next day, when Duo Yu saw his team partying instead of practicing, he asked the reason for their happiness. Shang Shuang told him that his investment company has made a profit of 10 billion yuan. Hearing this, Duo Yu punched him in anger and ran into the pool. If he has one yuan left at the end of the month, then he will not get a penny. Then an idea came to his mind. He called the entire media and announced that he is starting an insurance scheme for fat people, in which anyone can register by giving only one yuan. And the company will give you one yuan if you lose one gram of weight. That is, if someone loses one kilo, then he will take 1000 yuan. Ian and Lai were very angry about this, but because insurance is a legal business, it is absolutely legal according to the rules. People registered for this program in the whole city, and everyone joined in reducing their weight. People left the lift and started using the stairs. Duo Yu was awarded Humanitarian of the Year, although he said on stage that he was doing all this for himself, not for humanity, but everyone thought that he was just showing off. On the day of the football match, the captain of the Hang Tai Club claimed that he would score at least double digits against this stupid team. Although Dishing's supporters were very few, but still his team made a grand entry in the helicopters. At the start of the match, Dishing pretended to be a fool and gave the red card to the best player of the Hang Tai Club. But despite this, he scored eight goals before halftime. To save the team's reputation, Duo Yu told them not to lose by double digits by doing anything. But when the game started again, he scored another goal. 
Dishing's players gave their all in the match that no matter what happens, don't eat the 10th goal. Seeing his passion, the supporters of the other team also started supporting him. After the substitute was over, the coach himself got down on the ground to play, but slipped and fell, causing a sprain in his back. They somehow stopped the other team from scoring the 10th goal. At the end of the match, there was a wave of joy in the audience and the whole team. After the match, Duo Yu got a call from Shizu's number. An unknown man said that he has kidnapped Shazu and if he doesn't give $10 million by morning, he will kill him. A big problem arose in front of Duo Yu. If he gives that money to the kidnappers, it will be against the rules of the challenge and he will fail in this test. But in reality, this was the last test set by his grandfather to know whether he will give more importance to human life than money or not. Mr. Jean had complete faith in Duo Yu that he would definitely give money to save Shazu. But Duo Yu was singing in the bar. Waiting for him till morning, as soon as Mr. Jean and Shazu left there disappointed, they found him sitting on the stairs with that crying money. His grandfather's last video was played and Mr. Jean told him that he has become the owner of 30 billion dollars. We saw that Duo Yu returned with a pregnant Shazu. He now wants to donate all his property. But then he thought that he would have to keep some money for the child. He started with a small list and put so many things in it that he had no money left to donate. Guys tell us in the comments that if you get so much money to spend, what will you do? Will you prefer money over human life or human life is more important than money in your life? Do tell in the comments, let's see who will have the strongest comment.